man man oh man what a hunt up, guys and welcome back to another video duckle up outdoors my name is chris i am on some public land i drew a blind up here in maryland i had to break a ton a ton of ice this morning um it was like sheet ice so it wasn't that hard luckily i had my jet sled with me um it made for breaking ice a lot easier you get it rocking back and forth i got everything out but the but the kitchen sink this morning for the geese so hopefully they'll give me a look and at least come within gun range if not go ahead and decoy all the way in uh not against water swatting so if they decoy all the way in hey it makes for a confirmed kill right there so <clears throat> it is about 28 degrees right now there is no wind uh, the wind is supposed to be picking up uh, as we get closer to lunchtime. I'm probably not going to hunt that long. I'm probably going to give it until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock and uh, go ahead and pull up the decoys. But let's go ahead and get the talking to the minimum. We got about 20 minutes until shooting light and hopefully I'll be able to bust them up for y'all. Here we go. get that one we'll uh see if we can get a few more in here and this guy rolled up exactly right at shooting time so i had to bust him on the water i'll turn back around the camera like seriously who does that and he comes out to like check a trap or something and he did that yesterday too right at shooting light he comes barreling down here but hey we're not gonna let that affect our affect our hunting we got one on the board one drake mallard i'll show you when it gets a little bit lighter uh, so far looking good Easy. Headshot. All right, guys, that's my limit for mallards. <laughs> We're gonna see if any type of other ducks come in, so I can get some wood ducks, gadwall, pentail. But uh, hopefully, we'll get my goose. So that's mainly what flies around here. But there's tons of duck activity today. But all right, hopefully that made for a good uh good uh shot video so i didn't have all my my gopro when she came over the first time i was out there in the water trying to get out there to bust up some more ice because it's starting to float back this way but uh i hurry up and got back to the 
to the blind and she kept circling around so she really wanted to be, be up in here so hopefully the other ducks think the same thing all right what mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one goose down. Oh man, she's banded. Woo <laughs> oh boys, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, first band ever. <laughs> man, this turned out to be a hunt. Cause this is pure excitement. I'll tell you something right now, this is probably the best hunt I've ever been on. So, here, let me show you what I got. We got two mallards, one Susie, one mighty fine Drake, and a Continental too. That thing is massive. Now, hold on, hold on now. We got something else for you. First ever goose band right here baby Woo! oh man they came in this morning the ducks did and uh they were fighting two drakes were uh fighting over that hen that was with them and uh they swam into the uh i got big owl big owl silhouettes out there on v boards and uh they hit into the V-board, and then they swam back there like, oh, crap. So then they swam back into the mallards that I got out. Here, I'll show you real quick. So they hit that V-board. Then they swam back to these to these mallards. Let this thing focus. And to these mallards I have hung up here right here. And uh, they're sitting there playing. And I had this dude drive down this. There's a road right here. That's like the, the driveway right next to the pond. And uh, they he drove down here, and it was like, six o'clock and i was like what the heck is this dude doing like he ain't duck hunting because he's in here way too late he turned around and came back and it was right at shooting light it was uh 652 653 and he parked like right there where i put in uh where i put in the uh the kayak and the jet sled and parked and i guess he he was going over here to like check a trap because he did the same thing yesterday but he did it right at shooting light so i was like what the heck so I didn't want to shoot the drakes on the uh, on the water, but I didn't really have much of a choice at that point. So I went ahead and pulled up, shot that one mallard, and the other two flushed. And me, I can't shoot straight to save my life. So of course I missed those two. And um, so I went ahead and grabbed him, went out there, busted more ice, making sure everything was all clear. And then I had that hen turn around and she came over she was quacking so i turned around and started videotaping her she went she circled me probably about four or five times and uh i finally got her to commit she locked up and uh then she looked like she was gonna break so i went ahead and threw one at it and that was a three and a half inch number two and then the second show i had in was a three inch number three and that one folded her up she landed right behind the uh right behind the blind now for the goose I didn't hear no honking. I didn't hear nothing. And they turned around, they came right over and they circled pretty much where that guy was parked. They circled back and uh, they cupped, the feet dropped. I didn't, I wasn't even looking for jewelry. I was just excited that I was gonna kill a goose. I mean, they were in super, super close. I picked one and I completely folded it. Uh, three inch number twos, or no, three inch number threes made by Kent and uh shooting a pattern master uh code black goose and stone cold didn't go 20. <laughs> awesome awesome hunt awesome hunt look at this Woo! <laughs> first goose band baby
Oh man, I'm gonna call it in. Um, see how far he came. It's a massive goose, that thing is heavy. Man, man, oh man, what a hunt. Limit on mallards. I got my goose limit, because I'm in the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Flyway, and it's only, here, let me check the time real quick. It's only 8.16, so, man. Well, let me get calmed down here, get, catch my train of thought, um, and I'll go ahead and do a recap of the hunt, and I'm going to give it probably another hour and a half, maybe another a duck come in, something other than a mallard, and uh, maybe be able to put something something more on the scoreboard, but, whoo! So this right here is my spread. I got some some ducks over here. We got the big owl decoys set up on V-boards. I have uh, six floaters out there. Those are the V-boards. V-boards right there. Um, I got the six uh, goose floaters out there. And those are my ducks. And you can tell like all this ice I had to break up this morning. I had to put in tons and tons of work on that, but it paid off. So I finished up today with two mallards, one hen, one drake, and the banded goose. I went ahead and ran that band through the website and it came back, it was banded too young to fly, it was too young to fly, it was in 2019, and it is a true Canadian goose. Uh, it was banded in Quebec, Canada. So. Uh, definitely something to put on my lanyard. I'm gonna probably end up having to make myself another one so that way I can get it get it in there nice and tight and tidy. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, go ahead and leave a comment too. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're in if you're interested in a game tote or a lanyard, uh, go ahead and let me know. I'm on Instagram. You can shoot me a DM or just leave it in the comments. Uh, I can guarantee you I'm the cheapest guy out there when it comes to it. The totes are $20 a piece and the lanyard is $30. And if you do a matching set, I can get it to you shipped to the door for $40. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, y'all stay safe.